Hi everyone! Today I want to share this Windsor Newton Professional Watercolor Set with you. It's a bamboo box tube set and I got this one on Amazon so I will leave a link for you if you're interested. Now I bought this one not for myself at this time but it's actually a belated uh, birthday present for my dad and um, basically we're trying to get him back into um, painting and he hasn't done it in a very long time and I thought that gifting him something as beautiful looking as this might inspire him to pick up the brushes and you know um, get back to painting. I just wanted to show you so you can see what the set looks like in real life. So basically it comes as I said in a bamboo box but it's not just a box it's a lovely looking um, kind of case beautifully done um, so you can see the uh, sides the corners right here so it's um, very nicely done and there is a little handle here so it can be carried around it's great to take um, outdoors uh, if someone wants to paint in the garden or um, anywhere else it is um, quite heavy um, because you know it's um, real sort of wood um, or real bamboo and then here you get a little label that tells you what's inside so there is uh, there are two brushes a pencil little sponge um, putty rubber then there is a ceramic tray um, there are 12 tubes of uh, watercolor there is a little cloth um, and a little um, kind of um, leaflet uh, I suppose to to tell you of all the um, colors that are available and there is this um, paper which is included and this used to be my favorite paper and from what I know they have discontinued this particular paper so it's still available in these cases and yeah I used to really buy a lot of uh, these um, paper pads so now let's um, open it and luckily it's done in such a way that I'm not uh, going to disturb any packaging so I can show you because you know if it would have been packaged a different in a different way I obviously wouldn't be able to show you so I thought I might use the opportunity so when you open this box it's beautiful it's gorgeous and um, I won't be able to fit in the whole thing probably but let me see if I can turn it this way yes that works so here is the lid part it opens up flat it doesn't hold up um, I don't think there is any way to hold it up there is no legs or anything like that so it just opens up flat and then there is this section here which is perfect for this um, 210 by 148 millimeters so 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters paper pad so if in the future you want to replace a paper pad that's the size you would need to get to take with you um, or to fit into this lid so I'm not going to take this off it's holding it here in place and you can see there is a rubber so it won't just uh, flip onto um, the other side when you open it so that's that it's a um, cold press 300 gsm paper like I said it used to be my favorite one before they changed it and it's the a5 you get 12 sheets in there so let's move on to this part of the section which is super exciting and let's have a look what we have here so we've got like a plasticky tray I'm trying to think if I can take anything out it's it feels quite snug in Okay, so here's a plasticky tray that holds these uh, watercolor tubes in place, which is, you know, you can obviously, if you want, just stick them, take them out and have them in this tray. Now, then there is this removable um, porcelain tray, which I don't think this, I mean, it has the porcelain on the other side, so potentially you could use it both sides, however, if you can see there are some holes in here so I personally would not because that's the air bubbles and the once the paint goes in there 
um, you won't be able to get it out so the the porcelain should be nice and um, smooth so you get six um, sections here it's quite obviously heavy because it's porcelain and they are tilted so they are deeper on one end and um, you can mix up nice puddles here and use this shallow area for mixing colors um, so the 12 colors that you get are lemon yellow windsor yellow windsor red alizarin crimson french ultramarine uh, windsor blue green shade uh, permanent sub green this is the one I have and then there is yellow ochre burnt sienna burnt amber ivory black and Chinese white so I will probably um, ask my dad permission to swatch them out after um, I gift it to him and he has um, you know his play with the watercolors so um, I'm just curious to see what they would look like so these are all the professional watercolors not the student grade so they are the artist grade then you get this cute little uh, sponge here which is great for texture and removing uh, puddles and just yeah it's, it's great so this is a natural sponge as you can see um, very handy to have i like that these sections are done so nicely so you can have more brushes here you can put other things that you need so it's it's got enough space there uh, for more items to keep so this is the um, leaflet with the entire watercolor um, with the entire watercolor wrench here so uh, you know if, if it's quite um, handy to have it with you so you can add on to the watercolors and then the medium uh, kneaded uh, putty rubber it's uh, it's got uh, a film on that which you can remove um, then there is a Winston Newton pencil it doesn't say uh, what the graphite is so I don't know and then the two brushes that are included one is um, a zero it says Winsor Newton Professional Watercolor Sable. Oh my gosh, it's a sable brush. Okay, that's pretty neat. Um, and they are quite beautiful, these brushes, because I hope you can see it's not just straight. Let me, there you go, you can see it's got like a beveled sort of um, curved out shape where it's quite thin here, right in the middle, and then it goes slightly wider at the bottom and the top. So. It feels quite nice in your hand holding it very light the second brush that comes with it is the same uh, wrench so it's also a sable brush and it's a size 4 so it's a round 4 and a round 0 and then there is a little cloth here which you can see I'm not going to take it out because I want it to look pretty when my dad opens it okay so that is um, this and I hope you got a better idea if some of you were considering to purchase this set there is another set which I believe looks slightly different it has some uh, I think half pens if I'm not mistaken and instead of the ceramic tray you get something else but I particularly wanted the ceramic tray and tubes just because I feel it it is really um, what a professional watercolor set you know uh, should have and what I enjoy using the good thing about the ceramic or the porcelain palette is that you obviously it's white and you will um, kind of mix up colors um, true to what you need them to be and also they don't beat up as they do on metal or plastic pans you can um, create lovely little puddles and um, as far as I know doesn't get stained like plastic or metal palettes do so um, all of the benefits are great the only downside is the weight if you're prepared for that then I would uh, recommend to to do that and um, whenever I use a porcelain palette to mix my watercolors I always enjoy it so 
that is it for this review and um, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching and see you soon. See you.